Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video dedicated to one brand and it is a brand that I have been speaking about, well, I've been really hyping one specific fragrance from this brand. I'm going to show you guys so you know. I'm going to be talking about Sospiro today. Now, I um, wasn't so familiar with the brand before a few months ago, to be honest. I had heard about it, I had read some reviews, I had smelled maybe like one or two, but I wasn't so familiar with the brand. So I discovered it actually in Dubai and I fell in love with their new line. So they launched a bunch of new fragrances in 2022. The perfumer behind the whole entire new line is Christian Provenzano, which I absolutely love his work. I think he's so talented. And really the new line from the brand is phenomenal so i really wanted to cover it today and this video is in collaboration with suspiro which i was so excited about um i only wanted to put in this video my absolute favorites from the brand so that's what we're going to be talking about today um if you don't know about suspiro the brand is very much inspired by classical music which i think is beautiful i'm a very big fan of classical music if you don't know i used to be a ballet dancer so Classical music is something that whenever I listen to it, I feel very emotional and I resonate with a lot. And also I love the emblem of the brand, it's a butterfly. So let me show you guys, cause it's really beautiful. I think I wanna start out with my absolute favorite from the brand. I have three top favorite fragrances, but I will tell you at the end, but I wanna start out with the one that I believe, and I'm going to say this just myself, I, you don't have to agree with me, you can think that I'm claiming something very big right now, but for me, I feel like this fragrance right here has the potential to be like an Aventus, and I really, really mean that, because if you have smelled this fragrance, if you have tried it, if you have worn it, you will understand exactly what I mean, because this fragrance right here is very, very special. And as you guys know, it is Vibrato that I am talking about right now. So I just wanna go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about it. I do have the notes on my phone so that I can read it to you because I feel like whenever I speak about Vibrato, it's so hard for me to understand actually what is inside of this fragrance because it just smells just so well blended, so incredible, so fresh, so fantastic. For me, Vibrato, is the best fresh fragrance that I have ever tried and I really really mean that it is just amazing so let me go ahead and spray it it doesn't do the fragrance any justice by smelling it on the tester strip you actually have to wear it yourself spray it on everywhere walk out of your house and you will see exactly what I mean this fragrance yeah it doesn't do the justice on the card I swear to you guys but vibrato is just wow a 10 out of 10 fresh fragrance with immense longevity and projection. The compliments on this one as well, if you care about compliments, I don't think that I have received so many compliments with a fragrance in a really long time. So in the fragrance, you have bergamot, grapefruit, jasmine, magnolia, herbal notes, ginger, powdery notes, patchouli, musk, cedar, orris, and amber. Now I would say for me, I definitely get this very, very strong, fresh scent with a slight floral touch. The florals are definitely not very prominent. So if you're a man, you can absolutely wear this fragrance. Pierre, he wears it as well as me, but I've kind of claimed it as my fragrance. So that's why he's not wearing it as much. He has another favorite from the brand that I'm gonna share with you guys after. But Vibrato for me, it's a very fresh, slightly powdery fragrance. It has a little bit of like this patchouli muskiest, musky musky <laughs> a slightly patchouli musky base, a little bit woody as well in the base, but overall this very invigorating, fresh, slightly herbaceous, slightly powdery fragrance. And it is just, wow. Like you just have to try this fragrance and trust me, the longevity and projection on this one is fantastic for being a more fresh fragrance. Christian Provenzano really did something magical with this scent because it has 
really incredible longevity projection. So just trust me, try this one. It is absolutely fantastic. And for anyone that wanted to purchase the fragrances, there is the Suspiro International website where you can actually purchase from. So just wanted to let you guys know that. I will have all of the products linked down below for you guys, directing you to the Suspiro International website. So if you did want to pick something up, which vibrato you should, um, you will be directed there. And it smells so high quality as well. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell synthetic. It smells really qualitative as well. So just love this one. You guys already know that. I already have two backup bottles of it because I love it that much and it's just fantastic. So the next fragrance that we have here is Prima Donna, which I do think is a cult favorite from the newer collection. A lot of people really do like this fragrance. It's not my favorite from the newer launches, but it definitely is a beautiful scent that I feel like a lot of you guys would love, especially the ladies that are watching me. I feel like Prima Donna could definitely be something that you guys would like. Now for me in the opening, I definitely smell hints of cherry and I do think cherry is a part of the notes. There is a little bit of dark chocolate as well. There is some fruitiness, a bit of a powderiness, a muskiness, but there is an addition to this scent and it's for all of you leather lovers in there. As you guys know, I struggle with the note of leather. It's not something that I'm, I really care for, to be honest. But in Prima Donna, it's done in a really beautiful way. Don't get me wrong, it still is prominent. And I do feel like in the dry down, you really feel the leather and less of the cherry kind of fruitiness. I mostly get this kind of smooth, sweet, leathery, slightly powdery fragrance and it really is beautiful like i said for me personally it is not my favorite from the newer collection but it is absolutely stunning so if you wanted kind of like a smooth fruity-ish leather fragrance this fragrance is wonderful and like i said again the whole entire collection is very well blended the fragrances are really really well blended so just beautiful longevity projection i'm gonna say this right now so i don't have to keep repeating myself but they're so good the longevity projection on all of the fragrances no joke you guys is fantastic so really i don't need to keep on saying the longevity on this one is good it's very consistent throughout the whole entire line the longevity projection is really fantastic so i'm just gonna say that now and yeah, it's wonderful. Okay guys, so next up we have Liberto. Now this fragrance is really beautiful and I would say it definitely leans more feminine in my personal opinion. And for me, what I smell in this fragrance is peach. I really get this very smooth, soft, warm, fresh peachiness. If that makes any sense at all. I get this really smooth, quite fresh, musky peachy feeling overall i'm gonna go ahead and read the notes just so you guys can get a better idea of the scent you have bergamot lavender jasmine peach lily of the valley green notes ozonic notes spices carnation amber patchouli and vanilla i definitely feel the patchouli in this fragrance but it's done in a really beautiful way it's like i said again very smooth and very well blended and for me the peachiness is very prominent in the fragrance a warm floral peachy kind of fresh fragrance and it really is stunning. If you like your kind of fruity, musky patchoulis, definitely try Liberto because you will love it. Like I said, a peachy, warm, patchouli, smooth fragrance, just absolutely stunning. Okay guys, so next up, one of my absolute favorites, it is Bel Canto. It is just, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this one. It is one of my favorites from the brand. Pierre and I, we took Bel Canto with us to Corsica this summer and it is just, oh my God. Okay, this guys, you guys are going to absolutely love this fragrance. Smooth, sweet, creamy, a lot of sandalwood, very sexy almost a little bit boozy in a way, very slightly boozy. And it is just, wow. If you like Jazz Club from Maison Martin Margiela, if you like Santal Complet from Fragrance Du Bois, you're going to love Bel Canto. And what I'm gonna tell you right now is that the longevity projection is much better on Bel Canto than any of the fragrances that I just mentioned. The longevity projection on this one is 
crazy. You're going to smell it on your clothes days after you've worn it. And it is very, very addictive in the air. A sweet, warm, smooth sandalwood, very creamy, woody, and just very, very, very sexy. I'm going to go ahead and read the notes because I'm actually not even sure what the notes are in here. You have jasmine, citruses, powdery notes, violet, green notes, amber, woody, musk, sandalwood, vetiver, vanilla, patchouli. Now, for me, like I said, I just explained how I feel about this fragrance. It's a sweet, warm, comforting, sandalwood, slightly boozy fragrance. The sweetness is very addictive and very sexy and very come here. And I just absolutely love it. And on a hot night out in the summer, it was doing magic. I do feel like it would also be very appropriate for the fall and winter for anyone coming into the cooler weather. Bel Canto would be incredible. So definitely check this one out. Amazing fragrance, very sexy, very... Mm. Now let's go to my favorite masculine fragrance from the collection. This, guys, I cannot tell you how sexy this is. If you're a man watching this video, you have two fragrances from this video that you must try, Vibrato and Basso. And if you're a girl and you're watching this video and you like masculine fragrances, try Basso or get it for your man. This fragrance is just magnificent like absolutely magnificent and i want pierre to come in the room now and vouch for me he wears this fragrance non-stop for summer this year we took these three fragrances with us we took bel canto basso and vibrato so we had three suspiro with us this summer pierre was wearing basso every single day i was wearing vibrato every single day and we would alternate who wears bel canto at night like we took these three with us and we were wearing them non-stop and Pierre is obsessed with Basso and it is just wow. The notes of Basso are grapefruit, carnation, mayflower, labdanum, sandalwood, nutmeg, oak moss, vetiver, black pepper, pink pepper, galbanum, guyacwood, and cedarwood. This is so good. So for me, I remember making a reference several months ago that one of my favorite hotels in Dubai has this smell in the lobby and actually in the whole entire hotel and it reminds me of Terre d'Hermes. I take that comment back completely. It smells exactly like Basso. Think of a super, super, super luxurious hotel, like the most luxurious five-star hotel. It smells like this fragrance right here. This is woody, it's dry, it's peppery, it's a little bit spicy. Well, that is kind of peppery, but it's fresh at the same time. It's quite airy and it travels a lot. This fragrance, when Pierre wears it, I can smell it 20 meters behind him. It is just addictive. If you're a guy watching this video, because I do feel like for myself, this is far too masculine for me to wear, but on a man, this is addictive. And let me tell you guys, this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 on a man dry, very, very woody, but also fresh at the same time. You still feel the citruses, but you feel the pepperiness and the woodiness all going on and working very, uh, very much in harmony together. The fragrance is just a 10 out of 10. Longevity projection is beast mode. And for me, this smells very luxurious, very classy and very sexy at the same time. If you're a guy and you were looking for a signature scent that you could wear all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring, at any occasion, work, formal, date night, try Basso. It's a fantastic signature scent for a man and Pierre is absolutely in love with it. It is just an amazing, amazing fragrance, you guys. So Basso for me, it's definitely my top recommendation. If you're a man watching this, try Basso. It's just perfection. And finally, we have Pasticcio. Now, I love this fragrance, first of all, because it kind of has my dog's name inside of it. Pastis, Pasticcio. I'm just kidding. But the fragrance is just beautiful. This smells so luxurious, so high quality. I do feel like it's perfectly unisex, although I do think it would appeal to men more than women. And I actually feel like it 
does smell better on a man as opposed to on myself because Pierre has worn this one and he absolutely loves it and wow you guys this fragrance is very luxurious very classy very classic at the same time i get a very smooth creamy woody fragrance that smells very very sophisticated and very very luxurious this really smells formal this smells luxurious this smells like a businessman a very classy and very rich businessman for me pasticcio is a stunning stunning fragrance and I would say more for somebody that's very much into niche fragrances because what you're gonna get is this beautiful, smooth, creamy, woody scent, very rounded, very complete, and it really does smell fantastic. So a very luxurious composition that I think would appeal to you guys who want something more unique, um, more luxurious and more niche. So really pasticcio is fantastic. Again, the longevity projection is amazing on this one. Um, and I absolutely love it when Pierre wears this fragrance. He more wears this one for something formal, a business meeting, if he's in a suit, he likes to wear pasticcio or basso because he's obsessed with basso and I cannot stop him from wearing it. And me, vibrato, I cannot stop wearing it either. So I'm quickly gonna do a little roundup recap of what we just spoke about. And I just wanna share with you guys my top, top, top. If you have to buy anything, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say vibrato. Um, if you're a man, if you're a woman, try Vibrato. It is really the best fresh fragrance I've ever tried. Longevity projection is crazy and also the compliments guys are insane on this fragrance. So really for me, I don't care about the compliments. I don't care about anything else. Just the scent and the juice is just worth it for me. So I absolutely love it. And a little pro tip, if you own Molecule 01, put on Molecule 01 first. Um, vibrato over the top and you're really gonna you're really gonna blow people away with that one then I would say if you're a man get basso it is just the most classy luxurious signature scent worthy fragrance ever uh, Pierre has really fussy taste he's very picky with his fragrances and for him to like really fall in love with a scent it really has to be something special and he loves basso. It smells formal yet casual. It works in any situation, any occasion. Longevity projection again, like I told you guys about the whole line is really top notch and it just smells fantastic. Very, very, very sexy scent on a man, basso. If you wanted like a niche luxurious version of Terre d'Hermes from Hermes, basso. Finally, our Kind of mutual favorite is El Canto. Both of us love this fragrance. I wouldn't say it's feminine nor masculine. I love to wear it, Pierre loves to wear it, and it just smells so good. A smooth, creamy, woody fragrance. Again, the fragrances that I would refer to is like a jazz club, a Santa Complet. If you like those type of scents, you're gonna absolutely adore Bel Canto and the, the longevity projection. Again, is so, so, so good. I can hear him blowing his nose in the other room. Those were my top three, like if you could only choose three, those would be them, but the whole entire line, the new line is just stunning. So guys, go and check it out if you can. How much recording time do I have? So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed my overview of Sospiro, the brand, but also the fragrances. The new collection is really worth checking out just they're just beautiful that's all i can say um thank you guys again let me know if you've tried any um i did see a few reviews of vibrato on fragrantica and people are falling in love with it just as i expected to be honest and let me know if you have any questions i will definitely help you out in the comments if you need to know where to order them or where to try them let me know and i will help you guys out thank you and i will see you soon Bye bye